through FaceTime, I got to meet an artist who had recently joined Philadelphia's Stanek Gallery. How do you pronounce your name? So it's Agat. Agat? Agat, yes. Bouton. It's exactly the French version of Agatha. Okay. So you've never written any mysteries? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you live now? Living just outside of Philadelphia, and I've got my studio at home. You don't sound like you have much of a Philadelphia accent. I left France 15 years ago, so and I traveled the world and lived in different countries, Southeast Asia and West Africa and Middle East, so it's not my first time living abroad. And I'm very happy to be here. How has the pandemic affected you? I'm a mother, I've got a family with two children, so I had to, you know, cope with the whole um, uncertainty for the children and being out of school, etc. But for me, Personally, as an artist, took that time uh, to explore more things in my work. I was doing long work outside, um, mostly with my dog. But I never stopped working. I always work. And it also took some time to work more with social media. I love your Instagram, and I bet Catherine Stanek does too. So I'm very grateful for Catherine to be so active during the lockdown. She sold some of my work during the pandemic. She, she's just amazing. She's really working hard for her team. And uh, that really, I feel sorry, very privileged to be part of an amazing uh, team of artists. What kind of things do people ask you about your work? So usually people are uh, interested by the technique behind the work. I'm a print maker and also mixed media artist. In most of my works, there's an element of printmaking. But some people are not always aware of printmaking and how it works. So they're quite um, curious to know about the, the technique and of course the inspiration behind the work too. If you visit Agat's website, you'll see that she works in series. And her most recent series has a bit of a twist. So in each of my series, I like to tell a story. And in this new series, Second Po, we can translate in English by second scheme. I make a link between my previous series, Habitat and Urban Matter, inspired by architecture, urban landscape here in Philadelphia. And I developed a more intimate work, some small weaving, like fragments of stories and lives. I wanted to go back to my love for craft and made work and textile. I use some pieces of my prints that I slice into fine, thin stripes and wear them together. Then I incorporate fragments of fabrics, threads, and even touches of gold leaves. These works refer to our skin, but also can be seen as a fabric, a clothes, and is inspired by how our skin renew itself and heals itself. The prints and paper I use are delicate and fragile and give a soft and at the same time fragile vision that is our skin. The addition of gold leaves and metallic threads give the impression that our skin is precious and must be protected. In our jobs, daily work, uh, we cut ourselves, burn, bruise, and all this affects our skins and leaves traces, sometimes more visible than other. Well, there's no mystery here, and you don't have to be Poirot to know that Agathe Bouton is an artist to keep your eye on.